If you've been watching all this AI stuff happen, knowing you want to get involved, but feeling completely lost on how to actually do it, you are in the right place. Here's what I see happening. Everyone's talking about AI, saying it's the future, but nobody is explaining the actual process of getting started without all the complicated technicalities. You open one of these tools and there's a hundred buttons, confusing words like prompts and models that make no sense. And before you know it, you've closed the tab because it just feels like too much work. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to start making AI videos from scratch. I'll show you the one simple website you need that keeps everything in one place, so you don't need five different apps. And by the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to create your very first video. So let's get started. Now before we click anything, you need to understand one simple thing. To create an AI video, you need a platform. Think of it like this. If you want to send an email, you go to Gmail or Outlook. If you want to make an AI video, you go to a website that has the tools ready for you. The problem is there are dozens of these websites out there. And most of them are confusing, expensive, or just plain difficult to use. And this is exactly why the website I am choosing to use for this tutorial, and the one I recommend you start with, is OpenArt. OpenArt is what we call an all-in-one platform. That just means it gives you everything you need in one spot. You don't need to sign up for three different websites or figure out which tool does what. It is all right there. So that is step one, understanding that you need a platform. And OpenArt is the one I'm using because it keeps things easy. All right, so now let's actually sign up. The first First step is to go to the OpenArt website. To make this easy for you, I've put a link right below this video. I suggest clicking that now so you can open it up and follow along with me. When you get to the main page, you'll see a button that says sign up in the top corner. Click that. It will ask you to make an account. You can use your email or if you want to make it faster, you can just use your Google account. So I'm just going to continue with my Google account here. Once you are signed in by using the link I gave you, you automatically get free credits to start. Think of these credits like free tokens. This means you can make your first few videos without paying a single cent right now. We will talk about the costs later in the video, so you know what to expect once those free tokens are used up. But for now, you can just start creating. And that's it, you're in. Now I'm going to go ahead and log into my actual account that it has some more credits in, because this way I can fully show you how this platform works. Before we make your first video, there is one word you need to understand because you will hear it everywhere, and that is prompt. A prompt is just a description of what you want the AI to create. If you want a video of a car driving, your prompt would simply be a car driving. If you want a video of a sunset over mountains, your prompt would be a sunset over mountains. You're literally just telling the AI what you want to see, and it creates it for you. Now, here's the thing. The better your description, the better the result. If you just write car, the AI might give you a race car, a minivan, or a taxi in the middle of a city. But if you write a classic red convertible driving down a coastal highway at sunset, the tool knows exactly what you are asking for, and the video will look much closer to what you imagined. So when you write a prompt, just describe what you want clearly. You don't need big words or technical terms. Just write it like you are explaining it to a friend. That is all a prompt is. And this is actually another reason why I recommend OpenArt. Even if you aren't sure exactly what words to use, it has tools built right in that make writing these descriptions much easier, which I will show you in a moment. So let's make our first video now. Once you are inside OpenArt, you will see a few options on the screen, like store video, image, character, and audio. We are going to click on video, and this takes you to the video creation area. At the top, you'll see buttons like text and image right here. For your first video, we are going to use text, which just means we are creating a video by describing it with words. So let's click text. Now here, we can see a big box. This is where you write your prompt. Let's keep it simple. I'm going to type a calm ocean with waves gently rolling onto the shore at sunset. That's it. Nothing complicated. But before we move on, I want to show you a little secret feature that I I use all the time. Right near the text box, there is this switch called Auto Enhance. Click on it to toggle it as on. Basically, it takes our simple description and adds all the little details that the tool needs to make it look amazing. OpenArt does a great job with this, so you don't have to be a professional writer to get a professional result. It does the hard work for you. Now looking right at the top right, we see a menu to choose a model. Think of this like choosing which artist you want to paint your picture. For this video, we are going to select Sora 2. You don't need to worry about the technical details. All you need to know is is that this is the one that looks the most like real life. In fact, if you've seen those amazing videos going viral lately that look completely real, they were probably made using this exact option. Now let's quickly look at the settings below. First, right under the model name, you will see a switch to choose between fast and pro. For now, just leave this at the default setting on fast. It works great and it generates the video much quicker. Next, there is duration. You will see numbers like four seconds, eight seconds, or 12 seconds. This is simply how many seconds long your video will 
Adobe. I recommend picking a short one for your first try so you see the result faster. I'm gonna select four seconds here. And finally, there is aspect ratio. This just means the shape of the video. If you want a wide video that looks like a TV screen or a normal YouTube video, choose 16 to nine. If you want a vertical video for your phone, like for TikTok or Instagram Reels, you would choose nine to 16. For this example, let's keep it wide at 16 to nine. Once you've set those options, click create. The AI will now start generating your video. This usually takes a couple of minutes depending on how busy the platform is. And here's the result. Take a look. The ocean, the waves, the sunset, it is all there, exactly like we described. This is what text to video is. You describe it and the AI builds it for you. But sometimes words aren't enough. Maybe you have a specific picture in your head or an actual photo on your computer, like an old family photograph or a beautiful painting, and you want to make that specific image move. For that, we don't start with text. We start with an image. Go back to the video section, but this time we're going to click the image option right here. Before we upload anything, make sure you still have have Sora 2 selected in the top right corner. We are sticking with this model because it is just as good at animating photos as it is at creating videos from scratch. Now it's asking you to upload an image. You can use any image you want. It could be a photo you took, a picture you found online, or even an image you generated with AI. For this example, I'm going to use an image I found of a mountain landscape. Click upload, select your image, and it'll appear on the screen. Now instead of describing the whole scene, you just need to describe what you want to happen in the video. For this mountain image, I'll I'll write, the camera slowly moves forward through the valley. Clouds drift over the peaks. That's all you need. You're not describing what's in the image. The AI can already see that. You're just describing what you want to happen in the image. Select aspect ratio to 16 to 9 and save. Choose fast for the model setting and 4 seconds as the duration just like before. Then click create. Wait for it to process. And here's the result. The camera is moving through the valley, the clouds are drifting, and the whole scene feels alive. That is image to video. You start with a still picture, and the tool adds the motion for you. From here, you can just play around with it. Try different descriptions, imagine different scenes, or upload different photos just to see what happens. The more you try, the more comfortable you will get. Before we finish, let me quickly explain the costs on OpenArt so you aren't surprised when your free tokens run out. If you click the button that says Upgrade in the top corner, you'll see the different options. OpenArt has a few plans and the right one just depends on how much you want to create. The essential plan is the most affordable. It is perfect if you are just testing this out and want to make a few videos here and there. The advanced plan is the middle option. This makes sense if you plan to make videos regularly, maybe a few times a week, or for a specific project. And finally, there are the bigger plans, like Infinite and Wonder, which are for people with very heavy daily usage. For most people watching this, I would recommend sticking with the essential or advanced plan. You can always change it later if you find yourself creating more than you expected. But again, you don't need to decide this right now. Use your free credits first, get comfortable with the website, and then choose a plan that fits what you are actually doing. At this point, you have everything you need to start. You know you need a platform, you know why open art is the simplest option, and you have already seen how to create videos from both text and images. And honestly, this is just the beginning, because once you get comfortable with these basics, you can start creating videos for anything you want. Travel scenes, nature footage, creative projects, even videos for family or friends. You are not limited by equipment or budget. You just describe what you want, and the tool creates it. And open art makes that possible. Without all the confusing technical nonsense, everything stays in one place. You aren't switching between apps or figuring out complicated software. You write what you want, click create, and you're done. It is designed to be simple enough that anyone can use it, regardless of age or experience. So, if you have been sitting on the sidelines watching everyone else use AI, this is your moment to actually start. Click the link in the description, sign up for open art, and create your first video today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.